This is Duxford Aerodrome, home to a thriving part of Britain's Imperial War Museum. It's also the operational base of the beautifully restored Messerschmitt Bf 109 Black 6, the only remaining Gustav or G variant still flying. On the 12th of July 1991, Black 6 arrived here from Benson Airfield to take its place in one of the world's foremost centres of aircraft restoration and preservation. With over 130 flying and static aeroplanes on display, it's Europe's largest collection of its kind. Duxford's purpose as a living and working museum is to preserve for us now and for future generations historic aircraft like Black 6. We preserve old aircraft because they can help us interpret to future generations the history of warfare in the 20th century. And our job is just to show what happened, tell what happened, uh, and let people come to their own conclusions, uh, not, certainly not glorify it. These six hangars contain Black Six's stable notes, veteran aircraft from every major conflict in the 20th century. Many survived combat and then years of neglect before being bought here for restoration. Chris Chippington, the museum's conservation manager, coordinates this work. I'm responsible for the, the preservation of all the uh, exhibits which belong to the museum here on site at Duxford. We have to make the distinction between uh, restoration and conservation. Um, restoration is restoring it back to a condition that it was in previously. Uh, conservation is uh, trying to conserve it, maintain it in its existing state. As far as this particular aircraft is concerned, um, it's the only um, currently flying German World War II aircraft in its original condition. Being able to include Black Six as an exhibit on the museum site is only one side of the story. Operating such a unique aircraft is the responsibility of airfield manager David Henshaw. Well, I think it actually works quite well. Um, Ministry of Defence are responsible, having given us a signed agreement, that their main responsibility to the aeroplane uh, is to supply us with pilots. Russ's team are entirely re responsible for the engineering uh, backup and support. My job in the Imperial War Museum's job is first of all to get the bookings, to do the administrative side of the air display work that the aircraft gets involved in, or to basically to market it, I guess. Uh, we look after the insurance uh, and uh, we pay the bills, but then on the other side of the coin, we take the money. Duxford's responsibility is now to care for and to operate Black Six until the expiry of the agreement with the MOD. But how this aircraft came to be restored so authentically and to flying condition is Russ Snadden's story. I looked at this thing and I thought, well, if anybody was going to ask, which they did, like the Chief of Air Staff in his official visits, how long is it going to take Snadden? I say, casually, five years. I've since come to regret that little statement. The history of Black Six can't be fully understood without first gaining some realisation of the development and historical background of rearmament in post-World War I Germany. Basically, the 1990 Versailles Treaty was, was the, the treaty that limited German operations after the war. They permitted them to have a certain amount of civil aviation, um, and uh, gliding was permitted and things like that, but all military aircraft were either destroyed or handed over to the Allies. 